Hey, my peoples. Epic Boom, Urs, and Wrench Squad. This is Authentic Epic Boom. There's a couple of things I need to update you about regarding Chris Whiting and Tynini Bauman. I, I'm not, with certain people, I'm not even really trying to get their names right. These people should be in jail for what they did to Ocean. And if you haven't seen my many videos about that, let me kind of give you a recap. Ocean was estranged from her father. Don't know why, besides him living in Hawaii. The courts ordered her to uh, get to know her dad and spend the summer with him. Uh, Sassy, which is her, Ocean's mom lives in Las Vegas. Sassy found out that Chris was married. He didn't say anything. I don't know why would you keep something like that a secret. Um, he found out they were married. Uh, recently had a brand new baby. We won't get into this post in a minute. Um, and Tahini was very jealous. She didn't like the relationship that Ocean had with Chris, which is her father, which is sick. But some people get like that. She has been known to be very abusive. She has a couple of uh, physical abuse reports in the system. Also, um, as she was down there, um, Ocean was down there. The mother kept calling and clawing. He kept making excuses of, oh, my screen is broke or not answering in general. She was taken to the hospital for a fractured eye. Uh, something was going on in her hip, and she had a bite mark on her stomach. Before they could treat her, Chris, the father, took Ocean from the hospital. Also, um, Tahini made a statement like, oh, every time Ocean used the bathroom on herself, I just hosed her down with water. She's not an animal. She's a kid. And even their child, um, one of the youngest, when the police talked to them, they said, he said, uh, the little girl said, oh, well, they're always mean to Ocean. When she finally talked to, Ocean finally talked to her mother, she said, the first thing she said to her was, mommy, when are you going to come and get me? She said, in a couple of weeks, baby, soon. And then after that, she got a phone call from um, Shirley, which is Chris's mom, saying, why didn't you tell us that she was allergic to anything? Because Ocean's in the hospital. She said, my baby's not allergic to anything. What happened to my child? Um, she called back and gave her more information. Couldn't get Chris on the phone. The mother called back and said, stop calling him. You're making him upset. Like, she's not supposed to be upset about what happened to her child. She hopped on a plane, got to the hospital, Okay. Um, finally got in contact with him. He said when he got home, he claimed he wasn't there, that ocean skin was coming off her body. 100% of her head had been, um, been severely, uh, doused with a scalding hot water and 20% of her body. Um, she had surgeries over five weeks. She was able to finally sit up, talk, and, you know, starting to get back to herself. That last surgery, she, after the surgery, she went into cardiac arrest. They tried for two minutes. To revive her. He never came. Chris never came back to the hospital. But what he did do. Was bail his wife out of jail. Regarding child abuse. Here we go again with that. You already know what's going on. He decided to give the rest of his kids over to. What they call CPS down there for children. And uh, family services. Uh, uh. And CPS came and talked to. Um, Sassy and let her know what happened. With the eye fracture. And the bruised hip. And you know bite marks on her stomach. I don't understand why I didn't call her then. That's to give you an update. These people are not in jail. Chris is not in jail. Okay. Uh, his wife is not in jail. And they didn't even go to the funeral. But the grandparents, Shirley, that called. Sassy, she went. And the grandfather. And what's crazy is, I knew we had kids. Well, they just had a baby. You know, as you can see here, it says the bomb. Due date is uh, June 24, 2017. Wow, Lulu, Hawaii. So this is their baby registry. Let's open it up. How do you treat a child like that? You bring kids into the world, and even a baby daddy was, you know, warning Sassy once he heard what happened. He was trying to get his child back, but she ran to Hawaii. Oh, I guess I can't get to the registry. Look at that. And it's old. But... Due date for the baby was June 24th. I'm trying to see that. I'm going to find out they had a boy or girl. But this is to let you know. I feel like if you're married, everybody needs to know. Why would that be a secret unless you got something high and you up to some shit? And you had another baby, you know, mention it. Who does that? But that's a little bit of update I have.